What's up girls and boys? What's up internet? I am Bianca and welcome to another video where we talk about a life sim Kickstarter project from Red Pill Studios. So, early in December, I received an email from Ethan, the developer behind this Kickstarter project, telling me about their game, The Ranchers. I was supposed to make content earlier than now, but December was such a busy month for me, what with Christmas, my birthday, and the New Year. So, this got delayed a little bit. So sorry about that, Ethan. But, here we are, and boy am I excited to share a little bit of what we have on The Ranchers, an open world country light sim for one to four players. In The Rancher, we embark on a new adventure to the countryside, leaving behind the stressful life the city brings with nothing more than our courage and a small sum of money and the hope that this new beginning will pave a way to a prosperous business. So, what can we expect in The Rancher apart from the option to invite up to three players online to join us in our ranch and help us achieve our goals and explore whether on foot, horseback, scooter, pickup, or yacht, a vast open world that includes not just our farm, but a countryside zone, a town center, a beach zone, two forest zones, and randomly generated mines and highlands where dangerous monsters abound and where we can recover ultra rare minerals, gems, and items to make and improve tools or to donate to the museum? Well, my friends, The Rancher will also have an online auction market where players can sell their resources to other players to maximize their profits. This auction market is directly accessible within the game itself and from the companion app, which will be available to download for iOS and Android users. Speaking of the companion app, it isn't just for the online auction, but will also be used to complete Seasons Challenge, which we will learn more about at a later date. The game also boasts about having an autonomous world simulation where the player will be able to interact, take, destroy, burn, and transform every object accessible in the game. There's also the smart weather and season system in the game where the player's experience and the game world simulation changes depending on the weather and the seasons. When you combine this with the systematic engine I've mentioned before, it will surely give players a rich and unique experience every in-game day. How cool and mind-blowing is that? We can also build our very own houses in the ranch, whether that is by the seaside or in the middle of a prairie or on the top of a hill and decorate it however we like. And like all games of this genre, we can expect to also meet a colorful cast of characters and discover their atypical personalities, their everyday life, and their fascinating stories as they go to work or head to the park to chill, the restaurant to dine, play sports, and interact with each other in many other different ways as we take the time to get to know them, make friendships, and even find love and start a family. And if that hasn't gotten you excited about this project from Ethan and Red Pill Studios, then let me just quickly list some other things that might. 
like the 16 square kilometers of map size, or the 20 romanceable characters, the 20 townies, randomly generated pedestrians slash town visitors, and the two events per season that players can take part of, or the 80 types of crops from the 10 types of seeds per season, the 5 types of fruit plants per season, five types of fruit trees per season, and 10 fertilizer types, or the five types of poultry animals, barn-dwelling animals, dogs and cats, 20 types of wild animals for hunting, insects for bug catching, fishes for fishing, and monsters, or the three barn and coop types, two greenhouse types, 10 buildings for artisan goods, six energy producing types of buildings, more than 60 house parts, more than 100 house furniture, more than 80 decorations, and more than 30 cooking recipes, or the farm tools, close combat and long range weapons, three bomb types and how each tool and weapons are upgradable to four variations, or the vehicles of which there are 10 standard cars, 10 luxury cars, five delivery cars, five animal transportation vehicles, five bike types, and five bicycle types, all of which the player can customize to however they want it to look. And these are just the tip of the iceberg, the initial things you can expect from The Rancher, which is going to be a service-based game with new content dropping every season in real life. There's something for everyone in The Ranchers, whether you want to take part in the frequent festivals and community activities, or hone your culinary skills to prepare delicious dishes. Maybe you want to try your hand at hunting game instead of insects, or spend your afternoon fishing. How you want to play the game will be entirely up to you. Just let your imagination run wild. So, if this video has gotten you intrigued and hyped for another entry to a beloved genre, then head on over to the Rancher's Kickstarter page and follow and support their title when the campaign finally kicks off. So, if you guys want to give them your support, here's the link for their Kickstarter page. I've also provided their Discord link and Steam page link on the video description down below. Personally, I'm pretty excited on this one from what I have seen and I can't wait to be able to play this because it does look as promising as it sounds. So, I'm really really hoping that this Kickstarter goes well. But anyways, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, you guys know the drill. Dream on, fly on. Bye-bye for now. Keep safe, everyone.